Hey, welcome to the Bob and Annie Show. I'm Bob. I'm Annie. And it's the Halloween edition. Happy Halloween! Yeah, happy Halloween. <laughs> you were supposed to wear a costume. I know that, and I had two choices, but I wasn't sure if you were going to like them. So you want to see them? Sure, show me what you got. I decided to dress up as our daughter. That is amazing. It's so realistic. Wow. Impressive. What's the second costume? <laughs> there you go. That's Gumby. It's kind of hot. Kind of hot, Bob. Yeah, it's kind of hot. <laughs> no, it's, it's hot in here. Um, but anyways, <laughs> so getting back to Halloween, I like yours and you like mine. Thank you. Uh, what's your favorite memory of Halloween? Did you have one? Um, I think my favorite memory from when I was a kid was dressing up with my brothers and going trick-or-treating. And it was that classic plastic uh, mm -hmm. costume that had the, the character printed on it. And then that plastic mask that you wore that had the two nose holes oh, so that you great. could breathe. So I, for like four years, was Lemon Meringue from the Strawberry Shortcake series. I didn't dress up as the lead character. I like Lemon Meringue. And also I like Lemon Meringue Pie, which is why I chose her. With the and winter then, coat over the plastic With costume. the winter coat over the plastic. Yeah, uh, Canada. Yep, totally. And uh, my one brother was Yoda. That was Brother Dan. So mm -hmm. green, kind of like you, a little oh, bit. I see. <laughs> no idea what I'm talking about. And then my about. younger brother was Smurf. Okay. And we called him Smurf until we started calling him Nugget. From being an adult, I think ever since our child was born, now Halloween's extra special because mm -hmm. we get to dress up the little, the little person in our life. And she's been all sorts of wonderful, fantastical characters. None quite as fantastical as you. No, my mom made this many years ago and I'm still going to wear it. We had some when we were smaller, which I, I think it had a bunny costume and there was a tiger costume that we later wore for pajamas because they were much like this, although I never wore this as a pajama. Um, Mork and Mindy, I had a Mork costume that was really <laughs> nice. Did Man it come and with and an egg? <laughs> no, no, no egg, but, uh, but it was good. Uh, but there, there are a lot of fun traditions that some people have for Halloween. Uh, some of them I was looking up. Do you know there is a tradition in Austria? Well, it's in the UK, actually. Uh, people stare into the mirror. This is a, they, do, they do this on Halloween night. And if you stare in the mirror, you're a young person. Apparently, it doesn't work with the older people. You stare in the mirror, standing in a darkened room, and uh, until a face appears, the face of the person you're going to marry, apparently, will appear in the screen. You do that to me like every morning when I'm brushing my teeth and I look up and there you are behind me. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. But it, it says, yeah, they will appear over your shoulder. If they are going to die before you wed, a skeleton will appear. <laughs> this is not a good tradition. <laughs> is this just like jokes that people play on No, the, yeah, this is, this is Halloween stuff. Um, there are all kinds of different ones about uh, different things that people do with food. People put out food for their ancestors. Uh, they put them out. Apparently in Austria, uh, for, for dead people, instead of spending, uh, they spend the whole week of light and night putting uh, out bread and water for the spirits because they're hungry, I well, guess. Well, it's all Hallow's Eve, right? And the next day after Halloween is All Saints Day. So Yes, and, and they celebrate. They go on an entirely uh, for All Saints Day. And then beginning on October the 30th in Austria, uh, they end the whole thing by going out in the country and feeding the stale bread. I guess the ghost didn't eat it all. They feed it to the ducks and because they said the dead would prefer cake and alcohol more. I don't know how they know The that. dead are correct. I would prefer <laughs> cake and alcohol to stale bread. Casper the friendly ghost. Yep. <laughs> That's why he's friendly. Get the cake and alcohol. Some people don't even do this kind of uh, costume stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of there are a lot of countries around the world that do not recognize this as any sort of thing other than North Americans being total weirdos. Well, there's a lot of odd traditions and people are trying to do stuff that and some people don't like Halloween. No, they don't. So they totally ignore they're, it. They're not my friend. No. They're not your friend. No, this is literally this is an actor's dream, Halloween. You get to play dress up when mm -hmm. you're not playing dress up. So I I usually have 
two, sometimes three costumes for Halloween. Oh, you love Halloween. I do. Halloween is a big thing. And we you have can... an entire closet in our basement called the costume shop. For yes, all it is. of my Halloween costumes. So, yeah. And, and you know, some people are not giving out the candy. Some people are. Some people like to scare people. I don't like the scary. Um, That's the thing. That's where I draw the line. I don't like the scary stuff. I like the dressing up. I like the candy. I like the reverie and the partying. Not the spooky, scary boo stuff. I used to sit there and pretend that I was asleep. You, <laughs> you want candy? Jerks. I did that for a you, few years. I remember once when I was a kid and we were trick or treating, and there was a scarecrow Ooh. sitting on a porch with a pumpkin for a head. Mm -hmm. And little four year old lemon meringue me lemon meringue. walks up with my little sack and I knock on the door, no answer, knock on the door, no answer. And then this freaking scarecrow Ooh. comes to life with a pumpkin on his head. And I think oh, wow. I'm a real pumpkin. Yes. He oh, took boy. a carved pumpkin and put it on his head in order to scare tiny children. From that point on, I was like, no, nah. you were done with it. I was done. No, wow. I don't terrible. know if I've ever scared it a kid that It literally traumatized badly. me. This is like 40 years later and I can still see that dude in my mind with the orange pumpkin and he took hay and stuffed it all in his clothes and stuffed it out of his neck with this pumpkin on his head and he was wearing blue jeans and a plaid shirt that was buttoned up. Oh boy, you got a whole description on I, this guy. This is the news. Burned into, <laughs> it burned into my brain and I, I wonder was, if he's still out there. Oh, I hope not. Well, Get, well <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> Until next time, I'm Gumby. No, I'm actually Bob. And I'm Annie. We'll see you next time. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. It's fun. Uh-huh. I like it. What are we doing for dinner? <laughs> That's terrible. It's spectacular. <laughs>